Reporting live, the breaking news is that Shot City has a new gun. Welcome to Shot City, baby! Alright guys, Shot City here with another tabletop review. Uh, before we get started, please hit that like and subscribe button. Alright, so, got another CZ box out. Open it up. Got your lock. Manual and paperwork. Then you got some extra uh, magazine base plates, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> and all this is for the CZ P07 in 9mm. Uh, Drop that magazine, lock it back, show you it's empty, decock. Alright, so the P07, very nice, small firearm, um, again this is another gun that's kind of in that Glock 19 size range. It's a double single action firearm, so uh, let's go over some of the features. First of all, it's got nice texturing on the grips, <clears throat> and it does come with interchangeable back straps that you'll see here. Um, also, the decocker that I just showed you can be switched out for manual safety. Which it comes with, which is really nice. I mean, who gives you extra parts like that? Nobody. Um, the gun also comes with two 15 round magazines with the red followers, which I like those, I like the red followers. And you're able to count your rounds on back of the magazines. So that's pretty much everything in the box except for the cleaning brush and cleaning rod. Now I'm going to move this box out of the way and get more into talking about the actual features of the gun. <coughs> Alright, so like I was saying before, there's nice grip texturing on the uh, grip of the gun and the back strap. It's not aggressive. Uh, it's just kind of just feels just right. Uh, you've got a full accessory rail up front for any accessories you want to mount. Again, you've got that decocker that can be switched out for a uh, manual safety. You've got front serrations, but they are really hard to get a hold of. Like, I'm using some strength and I'm not able to uh, cock it back with the front serrations, but the back serrations are just fine. So, no issues with the back serrations, but the front serrations, honestly, I find them useless. So, decock again. Um, the trigger pull is actually pretty nice, even in double action. Uh, you'll see my shooting review on that. I wasn't able to hit much in double action. But the single action pull is really nice. So you have your take up, hit a wall way back, then it breaks. But you have that double action reset again. Um, this gun came with not night sights, but these are the sights that when they're exposed to light, they glow. So let me put it in my light real quick and hopefully they'll glow for you a little bit so you can see that the color changed right there hopefully you can see that they're kind of glowing right there so <clears throat> that was cool and really unexpected I didn't even realize that until I got it home after shooting then it's got like this little lanyard piece here 
if you wanted to put the gun on your hip and needed it to stay attached to your body. Also, um, it's got this CZ texturing on the slide, which again, I really like because you can dig into the gun, get a good hold on it when you're shooting. Um, so now I'm going to show you how this gun takes down. I'm not a huge fan of the takedown of this gun. So for a disassembly of the firearm, um, what you'll want to do, there's two little lines right here, little tabs that you need to line up. So it's a lot easier if you cock the gun first. Make sure it's empty as always. <coughs> then with your cleaning rod or your clean brush, it's got this little rubber tip on it. You can line those two little uh, tabs up. Then you'll punch out your uh, magazine release or your uh, slide release. And then it'll come right off. We'll first decock it. Then it'll come right off. You've got your frame. You've got your recoil spring and your barrel. And then reassembly is pretty easy. Just put your barrel in. Drop your recoil spring in. Cock the gun back or the frame again. Goes right on. Then line up those serrations or those uh, tabs as I called them before. And you'll press down with a fair amount of pressure and you have your gun back together very quickly. <clears throat> and again not that big of a fan of that takedown style especially not for a polymer uh, handgun but it works and um, I don't have a lot of complaints about it I have struggled with it in the past now you know you work with a gun a few times you're gonna have trouble with it even if it's something as simple as a Glock all the way to something as difficult as a 1911. So just remember that if you're going to own a firearm, learn how to take it apart, field strip it at a minimum, learn how to field strip it because that's important if you need to uh, clean the firearm while you're out and about. All right, so Shot City guys, thanks for watching. This is my CZ P07, and uh, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm out.